Okay, Diamonds. Uh, I'm Usman Ali, your teacher, lecturer at Cardan University. Now, uh, as I promised you that I will have another video on the inventory assembly, and I requested you people to create some of the inventory parts, if you remember. Like, if you can see, in, in the, our previous video, I created the inventory part by the name of uh, RAM. And then I told you that I will pause the video or I will stop the video and I will create some other inventory parts also. So I have created some like power supply, motherboard, hard disk and casing. And let us suppose these are some of the uh, what you say raw material items that are actually used to assemble or manufacture uh, central processing unit. So I hope you guys have also done the same thing and the procedure is same just like I created RAM I created all of these other inventory parts also this is essential actually to create an inventory assembly uh, you should have some of the inventory parts because you're gonna combine them and create one finished good in our case it's called as CPU of a computer so uh, again I will go into the uh, item button new and this time I will select the inventory assembly option now the QuickBook asks from me that what item name you're gonna give to this thing so it's a CPU central processing unit I will click on the central processing unit second the QuickBook asks from me that I purchase this assembly item from a vendor no I, wa I want to manufacture it myself so if that's the case there is no need to check it I will just leave it unchecked then unit of measurement uh, you know the unit of measurement usage CPUs are actually counted based on quantity 1 CPU 2 CPU 3 CPU so I will select each and you know how to how to add a new one also from our previous video on inventory part now then it asks from me that if you sell the CPU so where are you gonna record that 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 cost of those sales so actually I gonna record it on cost of goods sold just like I, I selected for RAM and all, all those other items then for time being we will skip this portion uh, the the cost portion and I will come to the bottom place here and once they are recorded then I will come back there now if you can see here there's a there's a small table given at the bottom and uh, that table is headed by the name or title by the name of bill of material what is bill of material bill of material is actually a detail of uh, the CPU that this CPU is manufactured using what material which 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 and which material is used to manufacture bill of quantity uh, sorry bill of material and every uh, item which is used every raw material which is used to manufacture CPU okay how much quantity of that raw material is used to manufacture also so it's what materials are used and how much quantity of those materials are used to manufacture CPU that's actually bill of material so I will come here and I can see I have some columns by the name of item description type cost quantity measurement total everything now what do we need we need actually one uh, motherboard okay very good to manufacture CPU I will click on motherboard done now QuickBook has automatically told me as I have defined inventory part by the name of motherboard so QuickBook tells me that sir motherboard is an inventory type and the cost when you purchase this motherboard is $45 okay now sir how much quantity of motherboards you want to use to manufacture one CPU so actually in every CPU there is just one motherboard in case if it's two I will type two if it is ten motherboards are used in one CPU I will type ten now in real life actually just one motherboard is used so I will just keep the quantity as one and there is nothing to change anything QuickBook will automatically multiply this cost per unit by the quantity and it will give me the total value of the motherboard then what another item we need to manufacture we need power supply very good how much quantity one quantity another thing we need hard disks also how much quantity one hard disk is enough actually okay what else do we need actually we need to have RAM also I hope yeah I have not selected RAM we need to have RAM also so we have these four items and what else do we need we need a box by the name of casing inside that box we're gonna fix all these things so we need motherboard power supply 
we need hard disk ram and casing let's suppose these are the four five inventory parts actually that are used to manufacture one cpu and for every inventory part we have just used one one quantity because that's the case that's the case actually now once it is done if you can see here at the bottom total bill of material cost is 223 dollars it means that this CPU, if I manufacture it with these specifications, will cost me $223. Now, let's go back to the cost option here. And it asks from me that use global preference, use defined cost, which I have defined back there or in, in our previous video, or I want to use the total bill of material cost, which is $223. So I'm going to use the bill of material cost. When I click it, automatically this $223 comes here that's that then the quickbook asks from me that sir okay you, you it cost you 223 dollars on how much price you want to sell it let's suppose i want to sell this thing on 270 or maybe i want to sell it on 300 dollars very good and once you sell it where are you gonna record the sales i gonna record it sales hardware which is an income account okay so what i did was that in this video actually i created an inventory assembly i give it a name of cpu which was uh, measured by quantity each each quantity basis and then i created a bill of material for that thing so bill of material actually focuses on two things which raw mat which particular raw material is used and how much quantity of that raw material that product or that part will be used actually to assemble or manufacture a commodity cpu okay that's the uh, video how to create an inventory assembly i will press ok and you can see that i have an inventory assembly here that's cpu okay i have casing in currently if you can see it's i will just little bit bigger yeah currently if you can see casing i have eighty thousand quantity in hand hard disk 80,000 quantity, motherboard 80,000 quantity, power supply 80,000 quantity, RAM 80,000 quantity, but CPU I have none. Why none? Because I just created it. I didn't manufacture it. I didn't assemble it. To assemble a CPU, I will come here, vendors, I will click on vendor, vendor menu. Inside that, I will click on inventory activities. And inside inventory activity, I will click on the option built assemblies. Now, if I want to build assembly, very first thing, it the QuickBooks ask from me that, sir, what do you want to build actually? What do you want to assemble? So for time being, I've just created one item for my company assembly item, so it, that's the only option. Otherwise, if I have three, four, five more items, that list would be present here. CPU, in, in my case, I want to manufacture, assemble a CPU, done. Once I cl like, click on CPU, it will automatically quickbook will tell me that sir these materials or parts are needed actually to manufacture a cpu and actually you need one one quantity of each to manufacture when you combine one each it will become a cpu and right now you have 80 80 thousand of each item available in your store de store department with you then sir how many quantity you want to build actually quantity to build that's here so maybe i want to uh, build 10 once i'm done with this thing that okay yeah i'm sure that i want to build 10 uh, so you will see that this quantity in hand 80 80 80 this will reduce by 10 and if you remember that inventory item men, uh, inventory item screen their cpu was having zero quantity in hand once this is manufactured that zero will become 10 and these all these 80 80 will will be uh, this 10 will be subtracted from this 80 80 each okay now i if if i don't have anything else to do i will click on built and close if i want to create some more inventory items assembly items i will click on built and new currently i will click on built and close so it's built you can see we are in our this thing inventory item menu here okay or item list menu here and this is if you can see minus 10 minus 10 minus 10 minus 10 and that those 10 quantity which was subtracted from these inventory parts has been utilized and it is you it has been used actually in manufacturing cpu so we have 10 cpu they are ready to be sold also okay so this is how you create actually an inventory assembly